Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert, and I'm just making a short video to respond to a comment I saw on a recent article we did on Studio One Expert, asking people to say how they use the console. Console in Studio One is very flexible. It can be wide, it can be tall, it can be short. There's various ways you can do it. And one of the comments was, I wish it was like Pro Tools, and I wish it was uh, a full screen uh, mixer. Now, uh, if you come from Pro Tools, you'll know what that person means. If you don't come from Pro Tools, you probably think, why would you want to do that anyway? Why not have it all on one screen? And one of the benefits of Studio One is you can have it all piled onto one screen. However, if you do come from Pro Tools and you want to maintain that kind of Pro Tools workflow, it is possible. It's quite straightforward. And for those who aren't used to what I'm talking about, what I mean is in Pro Tools, you have on the left-hand side here, your tracks, and that's achieved by hitting that button here. On the center of the edit window, you then have the edit section where you go through and edit stuff. And then on the right hand side, you have your clip list. Now in Studio One, that's called the pool. And you get to that by hitting browse. And the last tab is the pool. And then these are all the clips that you've got in your track. Now in Pro Tools, one nice feature is if you grabbed a clip here, it would, it would then display also in the clip list. Now I've done a shortcut uh, because there is a setting for that called select in pool, which you would find in audio at the bottom here, but I've also made a shortcut for it. So if I com hit, hit command S, then as you could see, it grabs stuff and it shows it me in the pool. So that's the clip list. Now what the, the person responding to that uh, inquiry was saying was, how can I make it work like Pro Tools where one of the powerful things about Pro Tools in the early days was it was a two screen system. You had the edit window, then you had the mix window. And that's achieved quite simply by doing this. You can undock your console, which is here, those buttons up here. You can make it full screen. And for those that don't know, in uh, Mac, especially in later OS's of Mac, if you double click on any window, it fills the whole screen there. So click, click and click, click. And now I have my console. I'm using the Studio One shortcut, so it's F3, but you can actually map this to be just like Pro Tools, which would be Command Plus. And then you have the Pro Tools workflow. Tracks, edit window, clips, and then your mixer. And you can still do things like narrow mix view here and normal view, so it's all that kind of stuff. So if you are a Pro Tools user and you're a die-hard Pro Tools two-screen workflow, then that's how you set Studio One to look and act like Pro Tools when you do editing and mixing in it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.